Hello everyone, I'm here today to talk to you about the Samsung SCH A950. It's a phone that um, that Verizon advertised along with the launch of their VCAS service. And um, I haven't personally owned this phone, but uh, my family have owned these phones since then. Um, they got one of the two-year contracts and I got stuck with it because I didn't like the little free phone that I got. And this is a nice replacement for that. I'm going to go over some of the features of this and uh, some of the discrepancies that I really don't like about it. First I'd like to point out uh, there's a color LCD on the front. It's a pretty small. It displays time and incoming calls which is nice. Uh, these phones only come in one color array, which is red and silver. On the front here, we have a 1.3 megapix megapixel camera, and it does have a flash. Flash isn't that great, though, as with most cell phone flash. Um, up here, you will notice it has uh, stereo external speakers, which is uh, pretty nice because it is a music phone. Is the main focus of it. On the side here, we have the the Trans Flash micro SD card expansion slot, and um, there's a there's even a camera button to start up the camera right there or take pictures. And over here, we have the the volume rocker and um, and a 2.5 millimeter headset jack. Um, now I'll go ahead and open it up. And uh, you'll notice it has a nice bright LCD up here, and um, and a regular T9 keypad down there. And now I'll go into the software. Um, you can use it to view pictures, uh, watch video text messages. You know your MMC messages. Um, it does support. Uh, you can add your own ringtones to it uh, through MMS. You just got to serve. You just got to send them to your your sound folder, and uh, you can select them through there as a ringtone. And it does have the regular MIDI ringtones inside. Um, when Samsung made this phone, they had a they included an MP3 player. Uh, so it was supposed to play MP3s natively, and you wouldn't have to pay anything. But since it's on the Verizon network, you will have to pay to get MP3 service on here, or you can hack your phone. There are tutorials on the web on how to hack it so it can play MP3s natively, or you can play WAV files natively on here. Um, but just not your MP3s unless you pay or hack it. Um, and, uh, that's one of the cons there, is, is, you have to pay for it, but, um, but you can always hack it, I guess. Um, another one of the cons that I don't like about this phone is, it's pretty thick, and I know, uh, it's also dated technology, so, um, it doesn't bother me that much, uh, it does get kind of annoying because it's round on the bottom and it tips from side to side in my pocket because it's very top heavy because of the speakers. And the last thing I want to go over before I leave is the battery, I noticed, generally wears out pretty fast. So that's my review. I wouldn't really recommend picking up one of these phones today, but uh, for the time that it came out, it was a pretty good phone. Uh, so that's it. Uh, I hope to be making some more videos.